Hi, hello friends. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we shall learn about linear magnification related to refraction of lenses. Before that, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe and press the bell icon along with all icon so that you will get the notifications of all the videos we upload here which will be useful for GPSTR exam 2022 and also for CET exams and central TET mainly of maths and science concepts we take up here. So I'm moving to the concept now. In the previous classes videos already we have discussed about the position of the image formed in case of convex lens and concave lenses with respective to the objects. So now this linear magnification says about the size of an object. Okay, so when the position of the object changes, there is a change in the position as well as in the size of the image formed. Hence, we define linear magnification like this, the ratio of the image i perpendicular to the principal axis to the length of the object o is called linear magnification. It is represented by small letter m, linear magnification is equal to m, which is equal to length of image i by length of object o. We can also write linear magnification in terms of distance of the object and distance of the image. If you take distance of the image is v and distance of the object is u and linear magnification is related to this, m is equal to v by u. Either you can express in terms of length of the image and length of the object or you can express in distance of the image to the distance of the object. Okay, And linear magnification has no unit because both the numerator and denominator are of the same quantity. Okay. Based on the nature of the image, we can write whether the linear magnification of the uh, particular image is positive or negative. Suppose if the image is real image, inverted, linear magnification is negative. If it is a virtual image formed by a lens, or erect image, linear magnification is positive. Okay, this value will be positive value. So well, let us check out with few ray diagrams. We can observe in this ray diagram of convex lens, the image formed is inverted image or real image. Hence, the linear magnification for the respective object and the image formed. For the image, the linear magnification is minus negative value okay and in case of a convex lens we also get erect and upright image let us check how as we have already discussed if the object in case of a convex lens is between the lens and the focus point then the image formed is behind the object only and image is erect upright image so we have to take in this case the linear magnification as positive. So what we can conclude in case of a convex lens linear magnifications magnification can be positive or negative. Okay or positive and negative you can take. In case of a concave lens we find always the image formed is upright or it is erect image, virtual image is formed in case of concave lens. Hence, linear magnification of concave lens is always positive value. Please remember, this may be asked for the multiple choice questions. Okay, looks simple, but you, get not, you should not get confused when it is asked. Okay, so remember in case of a concave lens, linear magnification is always positive. Here you can look. So there is an object beyond 2f2 and image is formed between the focus and the optical center and it is upright image, erect image. Therefore we can conclude it saying for convex lens linear magnification is both positive and negative values. 
for concave lens it is always positive value okay so already we have discussed about the ray diagrams related to convex and concave lens please check the description box of this video you will get the link of the previous videos so that you can practice okay so if you like the video give a thumbs up in the following classes we shall continue with the other concepts which are related to gps theory exam 2022 concepts from mathematics and physics we'll take up and also we'll try to take a few more important points from biology and chemistry thank you